So, so the thing that I'm interested to ask you is because I, I like to really kind of get in there and find out what people really think, you know. So, so one of the things I find interesting that people really struggle with is that I've heard you say it before on your social media posts and I've heard other people say it that have been very um, successful commercially and stuff like that uh, is, you know, now that they've gone through this journey, they're happier with kind of the smaller things in life and, you know, they don't need these big kind of successes to fill them up and, and all that sort of stuff. Like, do you, do you really believe that? Is there still a yearning to, you know, nah. make the summit? Nah, mate, or... I, I'll, um, I believe it with every ounce of my body. I, yeah. I, uh, Cause wow. I, I feel it. And it's a, it's a, everything's a feeling in life. Like where there's a very big difference between feeling a truth and like learning what or being told what's truth. It's a feeling. And, yeah. Um, you know, I used to crave recognition. I used to love success for the recognition and the status and the, the achievement in the, you know, externally in the world. But I now, uh, I don't have any desire for recognition. I love an anonymity. I, I, and I really love, I, I say, when you love the process more than the result, you've arrived. And yeah. Yeah. I, de I deploy that with my golf, my horse riding, yeah. because... I have this thirst for, for knowledge. I love learning. I didn't, when you've got a big ego, you know, AKA insecurity, fear, low self-esteem. <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't, I wasn't learning, mate. I thought I knew it all now. Uh, so you don't get the depth and the breadth of learning. And now with my golf game, uh, that, that's infinitely better than it ever was riding horses. Yeah. Uh, because you are, you're not in a, you're not chasing a result. To, yeah. And, to really achieve your own greatness, while well, ever you chase a result, you're going to shortchange yourself. Like, what's the process under the goal? And don't worry about the trophies. I'll take care of themselves. What What's deeper than that? And yeah. when, when you can really sit in that place, then then it's it's limitless. But you have to get out of ego and actually feel enough in yourself. And I straight after this, I've got a little break, and I'll go take the dogs to the park. I'll come back. I'll do more work. Like. That's as good as it gets for me. I don't need more than that. Now, my little dogs, my horses, these, these things, um, all the things that I thought mattered, they don't to me anymore. And it's not, you know, people ask me that all the time. If I had, you know, I make actually pretty good money now, but I don't spend a lot of it and still got a $3,000 car and it goes like the wind. I don't care. I've done all that. It didn't, didn't make me better. It didn't make me happy. I just wanted more of it. Yeah. I'm not scared of it. It just doesn't interest me. And yeah. but I will buy expensive things that that I enjoy. Like I bought yeah. a remote control go golf buggy. Like that costs more than my car. Like, but mate, and I, my saddle costs more than my car for my horse. But they add to my life. Yeah. They're not status. Yeah. They're not look at me. Yeah. They do. I buy things because I like that. They they are part of my hobbies, and it's so I don't do it for any sort of status or recognition. I just do things that enhance my life and the experience of life yeah yeah